Bethlehem Desi is a software developer, tech educator, and the CEO of iCog Anyone Can Code. It focuses on teaching young children from age 8 to 18 on the basics of coding and robotics. She is also working on Solve IT project, which creates a platform for young people to come up with innovative local solutions to tackle their community's issues. It's currently happening in 15 different cities in Ethiopia. At the age of nine, she became interested in technology after working in her father's electronic shop to earn some extra cash for her birthday. She earned about $90 by editing videos and copying music for customers. This sparked her interest in the field, and by the following year, she taught herself how to code in HTML. Betelhe also taught basic computer skills to her classmates from school. Education has helped me a lot in advancing in my career. I've taken a lot of online courses, I've attended trainings and conferences that have actually paved my career path. And I believe that if you are looking into tech or even any other fields, there are a lot of resources online that you can help educate yourself with. She involved in developing the world's most famous Sophia the Robot with iCog Lab. With the help of Sophia the Robot, she hopes to inspire the next generation of coders in Ethiopia and Africa, particularly girls. Most of us might think that artificial intelligence is the future, but it's actually currently our reality. It touches upon a lot of our lives, the way we think, the way we decide things, targeted ads, the way you Google. Everything that you do has AI involved in it. So I think it's very essential that uh, a woman or a girl is contributing to these kind of tools because we have different sets of skills as women and girls. So for example, when you look into compassion, when you look into empathy, there are some things that we excel in. So I think it's really important that we participate in developing these parts of the AI while also collaborating with other people around the world. Anna, who is in the second year studying computer science at university, didn't even know computer science was really a thing when she was little. She used to like dancing and doing music. Then she started liking physics and she found out about computer science. Coming to uni, I've met loads of amazing friends here that also do producing and do computer science. When I'm in the building and I see people working hard and people that are really smart, it kind of inspires me to want to be as smart as them. Just trying to take every day as it comes, do some music, do some coding. Once you've got all the foundations of computer science down, you have the world at your fingertips. I'm Anna and I'm a second year computer science student. <laughs>